Live 10 at 10 continues with No Wait Weather. All right. Well, outdoors we have a little shot of snow. Things slippery yes. once again, but temperatures are actually rising from where we were even in the six o'clock hour. Nice. So oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah, it's not off at this time of the year. That's what we're talking about, but that is what we are talking, <laughs> talking about. about. So let's talk about that right now with your current conditions. 13 balmy degrees out there, 10 and more headwind from the south southeast, 15 miles per hour, making it feel like three below zero. Plenty of snow on the ground in Grand Forks. It's 11 degrees. That feels like temperature. Four below zero. Still a little light snow reported in Grand Forks. Temperatures in the teens from the Red River and points west. 16, the warm spot in Oaks right now. We have 15 in Jamestown. Aberdeen actually recording 20 degrees at this hour of the evening. Babe, the Blue Ox getting a little warm out there. Two degrees Above zero, Paul Bunyan may be thinking of shedding some flannel heading into the late night hours as temperatures are rising there as well. South winds 10 to 20 miles per hour in most locations, a few spots in the far east having a light easterly breeze, causing some of that snow that fell earlier to blow around and drift on sidewalks and roads. And it's indeed a slippery proposition. We have a lot of snow making its way in toward the Twin Cities area. Around Fargo, we had about a half of an inch, between a half of an inch and an inch reported. We did get one report near New York Mills of nearly four inches of fresh snow, so there are certainly some slippery conditions. Now, we did also mention a chance for some fog and a fog advisory posted for the central Dakotas. I do think with the overnight conditions the way they are, We'll see a chance of fog slipping into the valley and maybe points east as we go through the overnight as well. But right now, the uh, snow and the slippery conditions heading into the Minneapolis area. Here's a look at visibility. It's five miles or less in Fargo, Oaks, Jamestown, two and a half miles, Langdon, one and three quarters of a mile visibility. And this could be dropping as we go through the overnight. Here's your hour by hour forecast. We'll have South winds that usually transport wind with a, or air with a little bit more moisture in it when it moves over the snowy fields of North Dakota and southern Minnesota and northern Minnesota. That cools the air and causes some fog development. We could still see some isolated flurries during the overnight hours, but look at how difficult temperature forecasting will be. We get a little chomp taken out of the middle of the clouds, and we could see temperatures dip into the single digits, I believe above zero as opposed to below zero, briefly. Uh, throughout the region. But many of us will start the day with temperatures at or maybe even a little warmer than what we have right now. This includes you in Bemidji where you'll go from two to four degrees to start your day. Tomorrow, as those south winds continue to transport the mild air in, almost everybody making their way into the teens for the midday hour. Uh, a little bit of a chance at some sunshine in the south. Temperatures soaring into the low 20s for many from the Red River Valley to the south and west. Maybe Lakes Country, Otter Tail, and Grant County standing a good chance at seeing those 20s, I think teens and uh, mid-teens up in northwest Minnesota. East winds developing in the evening, more clouds, another gray soupy kind of a day, but temperatures will certainly be warmer than we've experienced for the last several. Wind not as strong as today, around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Fargo's planner looks like this, jot it down. As you're heading out the door, 11 degrees. Um, you know, you may have a little shoveling to do because the wind will be causing things to blow around and drift around a little bit. And there could be some dense fog first thing in the morning as well. 17 with a south wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 22 for your drive home. And it does look like our mild weather will take a little bit of a reprieve as we go through the late week hours. Teens up north on your way home from work, 23 in Detroit Lakes and out in Wadena, 21 degrees. Now your planning forecast. Well, it's going to be frosty across the old uh, winter scape there. Thanks, Gene, for sharing this lovely photograph that you took there. A little cooler, a little setback Thursday into Friday morning. 16 Thursdays high. We start out Friday, two below, and it gets a whole lot better than nice. that. Aww. We're talking about temperatures approaching that 30 degree mark for the weekend. Ahead. Your percentage of negatives on there is on the low side. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> Keep talking like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> New studies show the need for effective treatments for patients with the early state of Parkinson's. What you need to know if you're coping with the disease. And are you having problems getting enough sleep? We have some tips for you coming up next.